Okay, gonna do a little uh, demonstration of a Drake TR4CW transceiver. Uh, I've currently got it tuned up on 20 meters. Uh, this does have the noise blanker. There. And it works remarkably well. You may not have heard the difference, but I did, because there's some really sharp, crackly noise that it reduced. It doesn't reduce the normal background hiss, but it does does take out the uh, crackles. So, without. All right, we'll leave it off. We'll tune around here. disconnect the antenna and we're just going to tune up here uh, just uh, on this frequency so I'll go to XCW I'm going to crank down the uh, transmitter gain XCW peak the RF here there we go and turn it up a bit now you can't see this but uh, I'm dipping the plate going to uh, peak this again, a little more drive, and that's 150 watts out. I don't want to hit it any harder than that. It's running at about uh, a little over 400 mils plate current. That's more than enough poop. All right, we'll connect the antenna again. Whiskey 1, Quebec, Germany, W1QG calling. Whiskey 1 station. Whiskey 1, Quebec, Germany, W1QG calling. Whiskey 1, Quebec, Germany. QSL. Excellent, Ian. You're 59 into Northern California, and uh, I see you're on the sub there that's high and dry. Great QSL, and thank you for the contact. Over. Uh, thank you for the contact at 73. 73, Ian. So simple a child can do it. So there you go. So uh, this radio uh, is in very nice condition. Um, the noise blanker works well. Uh, it does have the CW filter. Kick that in. Um, the PTO is remarkably linear. Uh, it's a set it and forget it. You set it at one point on the dial, get that caled in, and the thing is you don't really need to touch it. It's, it's truly a, a rather amazing PTO. I've got some Collins stuff here that uh, isn't anywhere near as good. Um, transmitter uh, kicks out 150 watts uh, on the 20 meters and down. It diminishes a bit on 15 and 10, that's normal. Um, there's not much on 10 these days anyway. Maybe could use a little tune-up. I don't know. I'm a guy that uh, leaves the screwdriver out unless it's really necessary. So uh, if you know what you're doing, feel free. Uh, I'd say uh, leave it as is. November, November 3, Victoria. Let's, uh, let's tune around a little more and see if we get somebody else. Thanks for the 5-9 in Texas, the city again, the city, go ahead. Thanks much for your report, Kilowatt Golf 5, Radio Japan, Radio, Whiskey 7, Oscar Tango, Victor, is QRZ. Whiskey 1, Quebec, Germany. 
Whiskey One, Quebec, Germany. Very good signal, 59 plus in uh, Seaside, Oregon. Yeah, excellent signal into the Bay Area, also 59. Name is Dick, located near San Francisco. Over. Was that San Francisco or San Francisco? Well, it's San Francisco, but I call it San Francisco. I get that, but what city are you actually in? Uh, Saratoga, which is near San Jose. Yeah, that's the other end of the bay for cry but whatever. Yeah, very good signal in here, and it's holding up very well, so uh, very good job. W1QG, W7OTV, go ahead. Well, thank you, and uh, I'm running an old Drake uh, TR4CW here, um, getting ready to uh, uh, part with it, and uh, it's a good one. And I appreciate the good signal report. Over. Yeah, wait, that's not a Drake twin, though, is it? No, it's a transceiver. They uh, they crammed more stuff into this little box than you can imagine. Over. Yeah, I have three sets of, uh, well, two and a half sets of twins at home, and I haven't had them on for a while. But, boy, what a radio. I don't know. I love them. My, my home call is... Uh, November 7, Quebec, Romeo. I get down there every once in a while. I got some friends down there, and we got an office down there. I work for a test equipment company up here. Home QT, which is uh, Portland, Oregon. Good job, though. And uh, Sir Toby, I'm familiar with. I got a cousin who lives in Palo Alto. I go down there and see him every once in a while. There, go ahead. Yeah, test equipment company in Portland, Oregon. I wonder who that could be. Tektronics, maybe? I blow a fuse. T1, Quebec Golf. Whiskey 7, Oscar Tango Victor is QRZ. Yeah, I was wondering if that was uh, Tektronics, over. By coincidence, it was, but I hate to advertise for them. Unless they're going to pay me for that. And who knows, one of these days they'll lay me off. Although I've been there for about as long as they've had the convention here, which is like 35 years, so that's uh, too long to be in one job for all that time. Yeah, I worked for Tech uh, for about uh, five or six years. Um, the company went from 25,000 people to 8,000 people during that span of time. It was really something, Over. Yeah, where did you work for them? Up here or down there? Uh, down here.